Okay, we're here at the opening of Gallery One here at the Cleveland Museum of Art, and we're talking with Jane Alexander, the director of IT. Hi, Jane. Hi. First of all, you must have one of the coolest jobs in the world. I have, and I've said this to everyone, my dream job. Yeah. And my, this, this is my dream job. Working at the Cleveland Museum of Art has been an honor, but also then to be part of Gallery One has just been amazing. I've worked on a lot of innovative projects, um, but this is, this, I, I can't, I can't express how excited I am to work with Are you, are you a geek? <laughs> are you a geekette? Or just kind of? I, am, I, I um, have worked in information technology my entire life. I started, um, I got my engineering degree at Columbia University and started uh, their distance learning program in the uh, early 90s, and I found myself uh, to Cleveland through the Frank Gehry building a case where I was the technology liaison, and here I am now in truly my dream job. Wow. <laughs> do, do you know my buddy Lev Gannick at Case? I do let know Lev. He was over here yesterday ah, picking cool. my brain. See, Lev got here before. Yeah. Now we have to yeah. talk to him about this. <laughs> well, anyway, we have this amazing wall here. Yeah, I, you know what I love about this wall? It's hypnotic in that um, every about 40 seconds it goes from a theme where it takes our collection and sometimes it's tongue-in-cheek and sometimes it's academic as you saw it was just hats and then it goes back to every single thing on view so by selecting any object here you can begin to visually, it's a visual exploration you can see you're an Indian and you can always switch to the medium sandstone and keep looking or a year, everything here is now 4,000, 3,000 BC, or an actual gallery, then, if you really like this gallery. And as you find something you like, you just select, save, and it goes immediately to your iPad. Wow. We have iPads to loan at CMA, but if you download our free app, it's yours forever. And then, after you spend time just and this is what I like, you're kind of like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of bored here. You can immediately <laughs> jump gears somewhere else. Uh, actually, I don't want to jump there. I'm going to jump here. And now I'm in medieval Gothic. The whole point of the wall through the way we structured the data was that you could start in African art and end up in contemporary painting. Just by, you know, as you're here, you're like kind of looking as you're seeing things. I'm now in gilded silver. And I'm now in the 1430s, and oh, I love this, I save it, and I keep going. And then you see something that just makes fancies your interest. Everything right in this tone right here usually doesn't stand. And then now I'm in French painting. And I can just, I can take a, it's like a brief view of everything in the museum at my choice. The other thing is you'll see these blue tags. This is now, when people make tours, their tours are associated with an object. So I am now in Jane's Favorites, and here's Jane's Favorites, and I can actually save the whole tour, not just an object. And then I can just go back and look at objects. And then, as you see, another theme comes up. These are, this is a favorite, top favorites. As people are favoriting objects, as you can see, this has 46, this has 52. Oh, the top 50 objects dynamically show up on the wall. Now, so when, it's awesome. in, when it's in the big mode with all the, the, the images, how many images display? It's about almost 4,000. Wow, 4,000. And they're all live or they're will all, be? They're all art, artworks. Um, almost every single one you can go see right away. Some of them are off you because they're in these curated ones that we, as you saw, some we saw portraits, we have um, hats. We have sculpture, and we did want to show some of our favorites that were off view. So um, sometimes there might be, but 95% you can immediately save artwork. If it's not on view, it won't let you save it because it doesn't want you to be disappointed that you can't find it in the collection. And it looks like there's, what, are there about 16 by 16 panels or something behind there, or is there something? Or... How many micro tiles? Yeah, the micro -tiles. There's 150 micro tiles. All touch enabled. All multi-touch. We're um, the. Uh, this is a Christie micro tile wall we put together. This is the the aspect of multi-touch was just uh, the final product was end of November. We were doing a lot of the test testing of multi-touch. 
There's no wall like this anywhere in the country. The refresh is so cool. Isn't that refresh? That, what, the, what I really love about the refresh is while someone's working. The other great thing about the wall, it's meant to be manipulated and you sort of enjoy yourself. Or a lot of people from far away just stand and watch it kind of um, change patterns. It's go back to everything. And when people are working on things, the way when it refreshes, I'll open some things so that when it refreshes, you can see it works around it. And um, I mean, I just love it. We were, we were here late nights working on this all through October and November. And the wall would just keep refreshing, and you never got sick of it. I mean, it was just amazing. Does one person control the whole wall? So if you're down there and touching a, a, a tile, does it control the whole wall, or no, could multiple see how people? No, this, this would be like four different people working. Okay. So, oh. it, and if I was still working, I would just touch it, and it would keep. So it's meant that you can do your own space while this entire wall is changing around you. And are you using? To connect, uh, are you using Bluetooth or RFID or Wi-Fi? Okay, or? so this is an RFID chip. Um, this will be given, it's with, with our loaners, they're already on them, but if you bring your own iPad, we will give you one that you can keep forever. And that enables you to be able to save any object on the wall directly to your iPad. And pretty, you can either there, from there make a tour and go see it in our museum where our wayfinding technology will take you to the gallery that your object's in. And then when you leave to go home, you take the silver souvenir of the object with you and all the assets and videos attached to that object. Well, Jane, I've got a million more questions, okay. but really, I want to go play with the wall. So oh, go play with the good. wall. Definitely. Go all have right. fun. Thanks, Jane. All right, thanks. <laughs>